Hi and welcome to my latest uh, YouTube video. We're heading down Victoria Road in Formby, the street of mansions and the rich and famous, heading towards the National Trust car park. There are two car parks. Um, if you've seen the previous videos about Formby Beach, you'll know there are two car parks. This one we're going to is the old one. It's the main one and this costs £6.50 to park during the day. There are no uh, admission fees at all. It's just the car park which costs you £6.50 to park per day. We're just approaching now, just entering the National Trust area. Uh, just ahead is a cabin where you stop and make your payment or produce your card if you are a member. And just to the right, uh, there are toilets. These are open until uh, usually about 5 p.m. Just depending what time of year it is. Once you've made your payment or produce your card and had a little chat about um, the palm oil which is unfortunately on the beaches around this area now the palm oil comes up in, in a solid form and is very dangerous to dogs so it's advised not to let your dogs run off the lead in this area or all along this course now here's the first area of parking this is used mainly by people who are going into the pine woods looking for the red squirrels which are sometimes very hard to find sometimes you can see plenty there's parking all the way down the either side of the road in this area you can still walk down to the beach from here um, but there is a big car park further down which we're going to now just on your left is uh, a National Trust van uh, trying to uh, show you the delights of the National Trust, what they do and hoping you'll join if you're not a member. A little snack van there and uh, picnic tables. And now we're through that car park and we're heading down to the main beach car park. There are lots of walks through the pine woods either side of this road. Um, lots and lots of trails you can follow. It's a great day out coming down here, especially when the weather is nice. When we get to the car park, we'll be walking down to the beach and then when we get back hopefully some drone footage because it is isn't too bad wind wise today it's uh, quite a, a still day and here we have the main car park just over the sand hill just over to the right of the photo now is the way to into the beach plenty of cars here today but it is uh, still school holidays we find the busiest time of year here is the uh, before the school holidays, sunny day, sunny weekend, Saturday or Sunday, um, May and June, it gets very, very busy. And when the car park is full, they do operate a one out, one in system. Here we are now, we're walking over the, uh, the sand, there's very soft sand here. Um, it is a bit of a, a, a well it's not hard work it's a little bit of a trek and we're on the beach now quite a few people here 
and today the tide is right out so we've a little bit of a walk before we get to the water's edge but it's all good fun I am keeping on the lead because there are people about and so this palm oil that I mentioned it comes in a solid form and just gets washed up on every tide the wardens do the best to clear it and they ask people to report if they do see any so that it can be cleaned uh, cleaned up as much as possible but apparently it is very very bad for for dogs and can prove fatal unfortunately i believe it's been mustn't be a very um worthwhile cargo as some ships are actually dumping it out at sea and that's that's why it's being washed off it's all along the coast now all around north wales anglesey uh way up to blackpool you just about got to be very careful and watch what they're sniffing at because apparently it's, it's very attractive to dogs the, the smell is attracts them and looking in this pool here we see lots of little what look like tadpoles swimming about hundreds of them i've no idea what they are if anybody does know please let me know they just look like tadpoles swimming about and they're just in this pool hundreds of them not far to go now Another beautiful sunny day. An abandoned castle. <clears throat> I missed a little bit of uh, footage here I don't know what happened when they were in the water really deep there are a couple of photographs at the end which I'll show you showing it almost coming over the head but um, I don't know what happened to the footage unfortunately it's uh, either disappeared or it wasn't on record Um, and we're off back now off back to the uh, to the van to the car park and uh, hopefully to take some footage with the drone you see the area in the distance the sandals uh, all this coastline is eroding away each winter when you get the winter high tides and really strong winds um, a lot of erosion goes on people are asked actually to bring the Christmas trees each year to the National Trust car parks and they are putting rows along um, along the edge of the sand hills so when the sand does blow it catches onto the trees 
and forms a bit of a barrier as opposed to just blowing over the top and uh, eroding uh, re at the edge. The boys love it down here at the beach. can see the the erosion that's going on there it's all fenced up now the a little bit of a steep climb back over the sand hills back to get to the car park a very soft sand which makes it a little bit difficult climbing up there these two boys are pulling me up there Still people coming down here onto the beach at this late hour. Well, not late really, but I believe it's after 4 pm. Then the car park now adding to uh, towards the van. If you come down here regularly, I did mention it in the last um, video, the one with uh, Formby Beach. Um, it actually costs £5.55 a month to join the National Trust. And the car park here is £6.50. So for me, and anybody else who comes down here at least once a month, it's well worth joining the National Trust and saving money. Here we are back at the van. And then they go for a well earned drink. Right here we have the uh, the drone just taken off. There's a car park, the extent of the car park. You see the uh, the overlaid video in the bottom left corner. That's taken with um, a camera attached to the controller. You don't see a lot. You, you, you see it when it's landing, but it's impossible to see it uh, when it's flying, especially with such a bright, uh, bright sun, sunny day. The drone being white then it's it is difficult to see against the sky they're going up there's a car park there's a beach that we've just uh, come from uh, the tide is coming in it was coming in quite fast when uh, when i was there one minute it was up to my ankle the next minute it was up to my knees there's one of the caravan sites along the coast and that's Facing Southport, beautiful day, beautiful sunny day. Blackpool in the distance, Southport, you can actually see Blackpool Tower on a clear day. Well you can see it today but it doesn't show up on the, uh, on this, with this camera. The Pinewoods and the road leading out, uh, Liverpool in the distance, North Wales, 
Anglesey. flat pits there where there are no trees is uh, some of the old asparagus fields. It's still grown here but uh, a little bit further down, um, down the coast towards Liverpool. Only perhaps a mile, half a mile. There's still plenty of aspar asparagus grown in the area. coming the drone coming down uh, slightly now there's a van and myself and there's the entrance to the car park I think you should possibly be able to see the drone coming into view in the little overlay video on the bottom left. In fact, yeah, there it is now, coming in closer. Coming into land. Top of the van, needs a clean. Near the attack of the killer drone. And down we go. Down, down, and safely landed. Okay, here's photographs. Uh, some of the photographs that were taken as we uh, went out to the beach and back. The sandal over, over the sandal here and to the beach. Looking back from the top of that sandal. Looking down towards Liverpool. And here we are in the deep water. I have no idea what happened to the video footage, but you can see how deep we were in. And they saw a big wave coming, didn't tell me, but they zoomed off the cell, so I got soaked. Right, back here. Uh, at these sandals and that's a photo showing the corrosion a few photos taken from the zone that's a car park black pool in the distance well thank you very much for watching the video hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a thumbs up Plenty more videos to come and thank you for watching.